Okay. Now, for today's session, we're going to discuss the case two of the super mesh. In the previous session, we have discussed the case one of the super mesh. The case one is when the current source is present in only one of the mesh. And for the case two, the current source exists between two or more loops or two or more mesh. So in this network, we have six ampere current source, which is connected in series with the two ohm. And then it is shared between mesh one and mesh two. This is called the case two super mesh. So super mesh means it's like forming the bigger mesh if we remove this two. Okay, uh, we're going to discuss how to solve the super mesh case two. For this one, I'm using um, the test book, Fundamentals of Electric Circuits, written by Charles and Matthew. So the methods to solve the super mesh, we have to, the first step is we have to remove any elements which is connected in series with the current source and form a super mesh. Now, when we remove any elements, now in this case, our two ohm is the circuit element which is connected in series with the six ampere current source. When we remove this, our six, this part will become open circuit. So there will be no effect from the six ampere current source, which means it's more or less we're removing all this branch, six ampere current source and two ohm uh, resistor is being removed and then in that case we are forming the bigger mesh that larger mesh is called the super mesh so we have the mesh one i2 and then mesh two uh, i uh, mesh one i1 and then mesh two i2 so this are the name of the current given now when you remove this one we have this many mesh like this many big uh, mesh so this is the circuit, how it look, looks like. Now for this uh, super mesh, we have to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now when we apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law, remember that for the six ohm, we have to multiply with the I1, and then for the 10 ohm and the four ohm, we have to multiply with the I2. Now this is the super mesh. We are treating it differently from the mesh analysis. Now for this one, I2 is flowing through, uh, flowing uh, from negative to positive. So we have to give minus 20 volt plus six times I1 plus 10 times I2 plus four times I2. So this is the equation that we have. Now the next equation is we, the next method is we have to uh, apply the Kirchhoff's current law at the nodes where current source has connected. Now when we apply the uh, Kirchhoff's current law at the nodes. Now this was our, the original uh, circuit. Either we can apply the Kirchhoff's uh, current law at zero here at the node O, or either we can apply the KCL at this node. It doesn't matter. The meaning remains same. You can either apply KCL at this node or KCL at this node. This node. Our aim of using Kirchhoff's current law is to get two equations. You know that in the mesh analysis, the mesh equation is uh, directly, the number of mesh equation is directly proportional to the number of the mesh present in that network. So for the two mesh, we should have two equations. Now, first equation, we got it from the super mesh and the second uh, equation, we will get it from the the applying the KCL at either of this node or this node. Then once we have that, uh, uh, once we have applied the Kirchhoff current law, we got again one of the equation, and then we have now got two equation. After having two equation, then you can solve these two equations simultaneously, and then you can find the, the mesh current. You can find the mesh current, right? Of I think uh, for the to solve the equation, uh, you can do it. So we have got the equation minus twenty plus six i one plus ten i two plus four i two. 
Again, if you simplify this one, you can write 6i1 plus 14i2 is equal to 20. Name this as equation 1. And then here, again, we have i1 plus i1 minus i2 is equal to minus 6. So you can also like rearrange this equation and then name it as equation 2. After having two equations, you can solve it simultaneously or any method, whichever you, been, uh, you find comfortable. And then you can determine I1 and I2. Now let's again look into the another example. Now determine I2 for the network given below. Now when you have, uh, you have this kind of uh, network, in this network, uh, you have, uh, let's say this is mesh one, mesh two, mesh three, and mesh four. This mesh one and mesh two is forming the super mesh by this uh, independent current source to five ampere. This mesh two and uh, mesh three is forming again super mesh due to the presence of this uh, dependent current source. Now this current source is controlled by this this I note here. So we have to substitute whatever current we get, we have to substitute here. Now again, like. In other words, we can also say that mesh one, mesh two, mesh three are forming the super mesh. You can either uh, solve like this, mesh one and mesh two forming super mesh, mesh two and mesh three forming super mesh, or either you can make it one, this mesh one, mesh two and mesh three forming the super mesh. Try to form the equation from the super mesh. And then again, now when we solve the super mesh, to get the number of equations, uh, same as the number of mesh, we have to apply the Kirchhoff's current law. You can either apply at this node, this node, or this node. But remember that in this case, you have to apply, uh, you have to have two Kirchhoff's current law. Now we have to apply two Kirchhoff's current law at this point and this point, or either this point and this point, any of these two from the three. And then, so total you got three equations. First from the super mesh, second from this node, sec a third from this node, and the fourth equation is from this node. Then once you have this, then you can solve the equation simultaneously. Um, for example, here we have, uh, I've solved this one. So I'll share you the screen. <clears throat> Okay, now this is the uh, uh, network that we have. Now, as I explained, mesh one and mesh two is also forming super mesh. Mesh two and mesh three forming super mesh, or in other words, you can say mesh one, mesh two, and mesh three is forming bigger super mesh. Now, for the super mesh, we are applying the uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law equation and uh, voltage law, and then we got equation like this so we name it as equation one and then at the node p and q we are applying the Kirchhoff's current law and we got equation one equation two and equation three so remember now we got three equation and then at the mesh four we got uh, we are again applying the Kirchhoff's voltage law and then we got equation four so if you solve equation one two three and four using any kind of method then we're having I2 is equal to negative 2.5 ampere. Now this negative means like uh, the current direction that we are assigning is wrong. So it should be in the opposite direction to what we have assigned. For example, so this I2 should be in this direction. Like here is given as the clockwise direction. So we have to assign this one in the anti-clockwise direction or that I2 is flowing in anti-clockwise direction. So when you solve this four equation, we're getting I2 is equal to minus 2.5. So I'll also give you the hint how to solve this uh, four unknown equation. Now we have got one equation here and then equation two, three, and then you have equation four here. So the easiest way to solve this uh, four unknown equation is you can equate equation uh, two and three because like uh, it's also given I2 is equal to I1 plus five. Again, at uh, node Q, I2 is equal to I3 minus three I4. We have given like this. 
Now, you, you just have to equal the equation three, uh, two and three. In this way, you will have only three equations. So we can solve three equations. Now it's much uh, easier to solve the three unknown equation. And then again, there's a special case, like there's, there was a, a dependent source at node Q, I2 is equal to I3 plus three I node. So I node is equal to negative of I4. The reason is here I node is flowing in upward direction. I4 is assigned in clockwise direction. So if you trace this direction is coming in opposite direction to I node. So your I node is equal to negative of I4. That's how we're taking the current direction. It's not only in a super mesh, in all like in all case of analysis, be it super mesh or mesh analysis, current direction should be taken like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. And then, okay, uh, see you in next lesson. Thank you for the attention.